Good morning, everybody. Hope you all are doing well today. Just want to give a brief introduction into this class, uh, Professional Ethics and Advertising, and uh, in this case, Strategic Communication. This is a web class um, for the summer of 2020. My name is Dr. Emery Stephen Daniel, Jr. Uh, please, if you don't mind calling me Dr. Daniel, uh, but I also respond to Emery or Stephen, as long as it's something that's probably not derogatory, I will probably answer to it. So, uh, yeah, I'm just letting you know that. Uh, I want to go over a little bit about uh, not only contact information, but how to approach this class. Um, as we get into the subject material, um, we'll be getting a, in a little bit of how this class is set up. So this is going to be kind of your stereotypical syllabi class, if you will, just to kind of get things rolling, uh, to not only introduce myself, but also get a little bit of who you are, um, and just kind of get things started in that capacity. So, uh, I want to run over the syllabi. I want to run over a little bit of the, as you learn, and then talk a little bit about yourself and myself, uh, in this case. So here we go. Uh, so first and foremost, um, contact information, best way to reach me is through my e email, Daniel ES at appstate.edu. Emphasis on the ES only because that is my first and middle initial, Emery and Stephen. Um, it does not mean that I have an S in la my last name, so please don't do that. Um, but also don't use Stephen as the starting point for your email because that usually brings somebody up. Uh, I think they have received a lot of my emails over the over the past three years that I've been here. Uh, my office hours, I'm, I'm going to try to do Zoom office hours uh, from Friday to 1 to 3. Um, and this is kind of a bulk Q&A for anybody that wants to join. Uh, if And usually what I do with this is I usually come in at 1 o'clock and if nobody's there, uh, I'll leave it around 2. But uh, if you have questions, let me know. Um, and also, you can schedule appointments with me during that time so I know to stay if need be. So um, I typically am going to hold this asynchronously, especially with the way summer classes are kind of set up. I don't know what your schedule is like, so I want to be respectful of that. Uh, but at the same time, uh, I do want to offer some synchronous communication on Fridays to make sure that I am uh, helping with whatever needs that you'll have in this case. Um, the way that this course is working is I, I want to mention about ethics not only in general, but how it relates to strategic communication and advertising, um, specifically about how we utilize um, advertising and the ethics that uh, surround them. So, um, you know, this goes a little bit beyond what um, governing regulations that you might have for something like um, the federal communications um uh, yeah, so Federal Communications or Federal Trade Commission, uh, the FTC or FCC, um, these are all organizations that kind of look at how you do things as an organization and how you promote your business if you're doing so ethically. Um, but there's also a lot of focus on, you know, it's the you can, but should you. We'll also talk about self-regulation self uh, in that capacity and doing so in a very ethical fashion. You know, with everything that has been going on in the world in 2020, it is of the utmost importance to do so in a very respectful and um, amiable, amicable way um, to make sure that people are represented correctly, uh, that you're not doing anything to harm other people uh, because advertising is a big platform and it is a big tool. So we'll be talking quite a bit about that. Um, your textbook, Controversies in Contemporary Advertising, um, please pick that up at your earliest convenience. It is in the App State Student Rental Program. Uh, so make sure you ask about that within the uh, school, li or school bookstore. Um, if you have any questions about it, please let me know. Uh, in addition to that, if you want to buy it, uh, feel free uh, on e either through the bookstore or on Amazon would be perfectly fine. Course assignments in this case, uh, we'll have a couple of things in terms of what we do in terms of weekly readings, case studies, uh, what we will be doing, uh, which I will give you scenarios for uh, 
what a controversy might look like. And and so uh, not only in terms of what you're advertising, but also internally within organizational communication is a major consideration when it comes to how we handle crisis and um, things that are often misunderstood, but um, very much have to be determined in such a way that it's handled appropriately. So we'll talk quite a bit about that. Um, you'll see here in terms of how it's graded, most of the grade of this course is through forum posts. Um, so make sure that you're taking that into consideration. Uh, like I said, we'll have two case studies uh, and a final project. So not a lot of grades. So make sure that, uh, I mean, the way this class is structured, it is a five uh, week course. Um, so I try to get it to where um, the forum post will give you a lot of weight in terms of doing things um, that that can supplement. So let's say you don't do well in the first case study. If you're completing your forum post, that will at least help with making up for some of that slack uh, if you do poorly on something. So I'm trying to accommodate not only by having some assignments that have big point values, but also some that have little point values. Um, just in case uh, and try to help you out because um, the biggest thing of any of this is try to get something to where you can utilize this uh, within your career. So uh, these are all very important to me and I realize that grades are extremely important to y'all uh, so I want to be able to respect that. Um, obviously with student engagement, attendance, and uh, participation, um, the way I do this class is I usually give lectures anywhere from Monday through Thursday through Monday through Wednesday, um, talking anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes. Um, and then I will put up discussion boards throughout the week to make sure that you participate in them. My big thing is to make sure that you're doing so in the, in the sense that it's always due at the end of the week. I'm going to repeat that. The things that I'm going to ask for you to do either have a strict deadline or they're due at the end of the week. Uh, so Friday is kind of my grading day in that capacity. So making sure that you have something that's done on Thursday um, will be very beneficial. And I don't care when you do it on Thursday, just as long as you do it um, by that Friday morning. So just something for you to think about uh, and consider when you are um, doing your assignments. So that goes the same with watching videos of these lectures. Um, it's very important that you do watch them, but at the same time, I want to make it so that when you are watching them, um, it is on your time. I want to be respectful of flexibility and so forth. Uh, we have uh, words on academic in integrity. Obviously, don't plagiarize, don't cheat. We don't have any tests in this class, so um, it's a little bit difficult to cheat, but um, since I am reading over everybody's papers, don't copy off each other's papers. I think that goes without saying, um, but uh, I do want to make sure that I uh, put this up there uh, just so everybody sees this. Uh, if you need to talk with Office of Disability Services, please let me know as soon as possible uh, so that I can better accommodate for you. Um, this is very important to me. Um, but it is something that needs to be documented by ODS. Um, I need to receive an email from them. So please just do so as soon as possible so I can better uh, help with your schedule. Uh, same with religious observance. If I need to, um, if you need to be excused for something uh, based on uh, religious uh, observations, please let me know. And again, I will make sure I accommodate for that as well. Um, the way that the schedule is set up, you can kind of see everything that's going on here in terms of case analyses. Um, you'll have, uh, I, I kind of put them up when they're due and when I assign them, uh, and then when you need to complete them. So there's only two, but it is something that I, I will make sure that you're well aware of uh, beforehand. Uh, but it goes through all of this here uh, about what the content will look like as I'm posting information here. So um, just kind of be on the lookout for everything. And um, yeah, I mean, it should be pretty straightforward. So I don't want to spend too much time on the syllabi. So uh, with that said, I do want to um, be able to show y'all your As You Learn page and the About You. Um, obviously, if you've made it this far and some people have already um, replied. So thank you for doing that. I will make it so that you can't see it. There we go. Um, 
name uh, major hobbies, what you want to be called in this class and what you want to get out of this class, excuse me. Um, just make sure to fill that out um, by Monday. So again, I can get um, a little bit more information about who you are. So I, I'm always kind of big into using small talk uh, to kind of get things rolling. Some people don't like that. I'm very much in the camp of trying to make people feel comfortable as we talk. Um, this is really, really important to me um, in this sense. So, um, and with that, I do want to give a little bit about myself. So, uh, if you don't know who I am, some of y'all, I've already recognized that you are, you've taken, uh, one or two of my classes before. So, uh, welcome back. <laughs> if that's the case, if you don't know who I am, uh, this is a little bit of the details, um, for, uh, a get to know me if it, as it were. So, um, I am Dr. Emery Stephen Daniel Jr. Um, this is me in my office. I'm not in my office, regrettably, but uh, at the same time, uh, I will be posting videos either like as you see here or uh, online. Uh, but at the same time, uh, this is who I am right here. Qualifications. Uh, I do. I actually went to App State once upon a time. Uh, I've got a master's from Virginia Tech and a Ph.D. from North Dakota State. Uh, dealing with advertising. Uh, right now, I'm also a, a marketing consultant. So this actually deals with a lot of crisis communication right off the bat, uh, as well as ethical issues uh, in terms of what we should and shouldn't advertise. So, um, and, and really on a spectrum of it too. So there's not there's not one that's like uh, a huge, there, there's some that are huge ethical issues. And then there's some that really are minor and should uh, just be thought about in this case. So, uh, but you can see there of some of the things that I do, um, really important to me, uh, in terms of all the, the work that I've done to kind of bring you to this point in terms of talking about ethics. So, uh, I want to make sure that I share that research interests have a lot to do with computer mediated communication social responsibility streaming gaming advertising all that kind of stuff so being online is actually kind of uh, a second nature for me in that capacity i'm from rocky mount north carolina nash county um city on the rise in north carolina even though anybody asks i lived uh, several years in raleigh as well i usually just tell people i'm from raleigh um, but if you are from north carolina that's where i'm from uh, this is my better half, Melissa Daniel. She is my rock. She is a wonderful, wonderful human being. Um, and she is also our administrative specialist here. Um, so if you have any questions about general comm and uh, uh, trying to get either into the program or uh, advancing within the program, this is a good place uh, to start in terms of talking to her. Uh, I would encourage you to be nice because she is the glue of our department. Uh, she holds everything together and especially with everything that's going on right now with COVID. Uh, she has been freaking amazing. So again, be nice to her. Uh, these are our fur children, as we call them, uh, Bjorn and Nella. Bjorn is Chesapeake Bay, uh, as well as Brown Lab, whereas Nella is Belgian Malinois German Shepherd. Uh, they're probably pretty darn happy that we're home all the time right now. Uh, good dogs. Older dogs. I'm looking at these pictures. I'm like, golly, their faces have gotten uh, a little bit more gray as they've gone on. So they're a little bit older puppies, but we love our fur children. Uh, it's good to be home back at App State. Uh, I love being in Boone. I, I usually travel a lot. Again, things have been going the way that they are. Uh, that, that has been limited, but uh, I do really like to be outside as much as possible. I go to the Greenway a lot to run uh, and be as safe as humanly possible. Um, but it is something that, uh, you know, being a, being in Boone, it's all about being a, and, and out the, in the outdoors. And that is something that I enjoy doing quite a bit. Uh, but mainly it's stats and good beer. So again, being also in Boone Craft Breweries, being what they are around here, uh, there's no shortage, and it's always something that uh, I enjoy doing. And I, I love statistics. Um, I do a lot with them with my research, and that is something uh, that we'll actually be talking about within this class is uh, ethics within data. I also love sports, love sports. Uh, and I kind of have a range of teams that are really good versus teams that are really bad. Uh, obviously, North Dakota State, App State, 
uh, being a Penguins fans are usually, you know, in, in a good place. You're in a good place if you're in those fandoms as of right now. Uh, the Bills, too, are coming around. Uh, hopefully with Cam Newton being on the Patriots now, the evil empire, as I jokingly call them. Um, I'm, I'm hoping that that won't derail, but, you know, I can't. I can't make any promises on that. There's just no telling. And then West Ham is, and the Pirates are usually on my lower end. <laughs> Poor West Ham is probably going to get relegated at the end of the season. I also love entertainment media, uh, and I still keep Game of Thrones up here as much as I don't want to, uh, because Game of Thrones is one of those shows that ended so poorly that I was like, I'm tempted to not bring it in there. But at the same time, uh, I don't think it erased all the good that it did um, in terms of good television and that so, uh, sense. Uh, love Monty Python, love Edgar Wright, so a lot of British comedy is right up my alley. Uh, I watch a lot of anime, um, play a lot of video games, so entertainment media is my jam. If you want to talk about things within entertainment media, uh, this is a good place to, to start um, in terms of, again, small talk. So, again, I try to make myself as accessible as possible. Um, if you have any questions throughout all of this, please, again, don't hesitate to ask. Uh, this is the kind of thing where I want to make sure that you feel comfortable and safe in terms of working in this environment. Um, and I will post things as they come along. So just, but uh, remember, the first week is kind of getting her uh, feet wet a little bit. Um, and again, the only thing is do is just to send me a bit of about you uh, and just, you know, continue watching the videos as they come along. So, all right, that is it for me for today. Uh, if you have any questions, Daniel ES at appstate.edu. I'll try to get to you as soon as possible. Otherwise, I hope you all have a wonderful Wednesday, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Thanks.